So in today's episode, consider your quick start to buying land and we're gonna go over five points you wanna consider whether you're looking to invest in land or if you're looking to purchase land for your own personal residence. My name is Andrew Finney, your real estate geek. If you need help finding a top agent where you live or if you simply wanna drop me a line to say hello, my contact info is below. If you're new here, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel now and like this video. If you wanna get notified of the next episode, tap the bell icon, thank you. Okay team, let's take a closer look at this. Sometimes whenever we're thinking about buying land, it seems like a really, really wonderful idea. You can just buy land, you can put a modular on it, you can build your dream home on it, you can invest in it, you can speculate it, you can develop it any way that you want, but not so fast. There's other considerations that go into purchasing land. So let's go ahead and get into the five points that you can use right now to decide whether buying land is the right choice for you. The first one is to consider zoning and the future plans before you buy your home. Now, where you want to go to figure out the zoning and how the future planning of the city is going to go is to take a visit over to your county zoning's office or their website and figure out what they're doing. Look at the current zoning, look at their proposed use, and see if they'll share with you what the current city planning is and how they're planning to expand the city and what they're looking to do. If any of that land might be subject to rezoning into the future, you want to take into careful consideration the long-term use of what they plan on doing in and around that area. You specifically want to look for things like future plants that could be energy plants, sewage plants, landfills, power plants, what have you, that could negatively impact not only the value of your land and the home that you put on it, but also the lifestyle that would have otherwise been enjoyed with that piece of land. So consider this, have you ever driven down the highway? And I'm sure you have. I mean, all of us have done this. We've all driven down the highway. We see this beautiful, gorgeous home right next to the freeway. Do you really think they planned having a freeway there at some point in the future? They sure didn't. They didn't know. They didn't bother to check and see what the planning and the usage was going to be in that area first. So you want to make sure that you check for roads. You want to check for everything Then make sure that where you want to buy your land is not going to be subject to change into the future or ideally it should not be changing into the future. The second thing that you want to know is, does the property have any deed restrictions? Let's say that a homeowners association owns the land and governs the land. You'll need to ensure that you're abiding by the restrictions they set forth in addition to whatever zoning rules might apply. So make sure that you read through the CCNRs, which are nothing more than the covenants, conditions, and restrictions very, very carefully. Inside of those documents, it'll share with you what you can and can't do with your land. If you have questions about it, if you're a little unclear about it, make sure that you get with an attorney to review that you understand everything in them before before you move forward with purchasing that land. The third thing that you wanna know about is are you buying land with easy access? In other words, how do you plan on getting to the property? Is it a landlocked property? Is it a property that has easy access? Is there an easement with a neighbor? Or is it one of those ones that are like, okay, you're gonna have to build your own road onto it, get your own easement put onto the property. You need to know how you're getting to that property. Okay, so if the property has an easement, that's cool. But you still wanna make sure that you get a right of way easement granted in writing before you agree to buy the land and make sure that it's ready to go when you get ready to close. Additionally, if there's no existing road to the property, you'll need to factor in the cost of building one and the purchase price of the property. The fourth consideration is don't forget about the utilities. I mean, this is where I see would-be investors, would-be people that want to purchase residential land to build their dream home or simply put a modular or something on it go wrong all the time. They're not factoring for the utilities and it's extremely, extremely important. Consider if you're buying it like in a larger plan development, okay, it's probably not going to be that big of a deal. They probably already got utilities rent to that land or they're extremely close and it's not going to cost as much money if the property doesn't already have them. But consider this, what happens if the closest utilities to that land are 500 feet, 1,000 feet, 2,000 feet away. You got to be able to budget for it and know what that cost is going to be because that's going to be a price you have to pay to bring the services into the land. That's the number one thing that I see people forgetting about when they're considering buying land is asking the question, are utilities ran to the property? And if not, how far away are the closest utilities and what would the cost be? Now, it's simple to call up the utility company, let them know what you're looking at and ask them and get an estimate from them of how much it's going to be to bring in the utilities. Knowing how much that's going to be and budgeting for it up front is going to be the difference between success and failure. And we want, of course, to make sure that you succeed. The fifth consideration is how you can get financing for your land purchase. The process is a lot different when you're purchasing loan steps needed to take the secure a mortgage. If you're buying raw land, you know those parcels without utilities and streets, right? The lender is going to generally be looking for 20% to 50% of the price in the form of a down payment. And those loans will generally come with a higher interest rate. It's something that you need to think about. It's something that you need to consider. And it's something you need to be prepared for if you're looking to buy land. It's also important to remember that not 
not all loan officers handle land investments, so it may be a little bit of a challenge getting financing for your purchase of land. Many sellers will offer seller financing if they have land. If not, then you might want to try with your local banks and your local credit unions, see which of them might be offering land loans. If a lender does it and you intend to build a home upon it, sometimes there's what's called construction to perm loans, and you want to get with a local loan officer that provides that loan option to you to review the circumstances of that loan type with you and see if it's going to be right for you or not. As a final thought here, one of the biggest mistakes that residential land buyers make is they don't factor into the cost of the loan, the cost of bringing the utilities and the improvements onto the property. So please make sure that you're getting all the bids that are required in advance of seeing a lender to make sure that you're budgeting accordingly for your new land purchase. Now, here's what I want you to do is share your thoughts with us about this episode in the comment section below and any experiences that you have with purchasing land. Let's continue to help our team and community learn and grow together. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pop up my contact information if you need help finding a top agent where you live or if you simply want to drop me a line to say hello, my contact info is below. I always enjoy hearing from you and I'm always here to help you. If you haven't already done so, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, please subscribe to this channel. Number two, please like this video. Number three, please share this video around with someone you know it's going to be able to help because someone just like you, and I'm sure you can think of just one, is also thinking about whether they should buy land too. Please share this episode with them so they know how to get started right away and the things they should be considering. Thank you. In between now and next time, I'm wishing you and yours a lifetime full of love, wealth, abundance, and happiness. Thank you for watching today, team, and enjoy an amazing day.